Hey guys, Brett Weiss here. Welcome to another video. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. It is super helpful. I just passed 3,400 subscribers on my way to 3,500. So thank you guys so much for that. I really appreciate it. So I'm in a brand new Nintendo documentary that you guys can watch for free now. It just dropped a couple of days ago and you guys can check it out. I will talk about that in just a moment. Now, some of you that have been watching my channel know for a while that I've had a little bit, mild bit of frustration in the past with being interviewed for a couple of documentaries and not actually being in them. Uh, so there's two, very briefly, I'll talk about. One was in Video Games the Movie. Me and some actors from the TV show Scrubs talked about the ColecoVision, nostalgic, you know, just waxing nostalgic about the ColecoVision. Well, they wanted to keep the movie an hour and a half, so they cut out our footage, which was unfortunate. And I was supposed to be in the bits of yesterday. I was interviewed at Retropalooza to be in this collecting documentary, but the sound was bad. It was out in the hallway, and the director just wasn't happy with the sound. Darren Peliquin, great guy. Uh, but the, just the sound wasn't good, so they left that on the cutting room floor. Luckily, I did write the forward to this film. So at least I was involved in the project in one way. Third time was the charm. I was actually in Playing With Power, the Nintendo story, which was directed by Jeremy Sneed, awesome guy who also directed Video Games the Movie. Uh, and I'm in this throughout epic series on the history of Nintendo. Well, there's a new Nintendo uh, documentary that is not epic in scope at all. It weighs in around 20 minutes. It's on the History Channel, and it's basically a half-hour episode with commercials. And you guys can watch this for free. All you have to do is download the History Channel app to your computer or smartphone or smart TV or on your Roku. Whatever the case, you guys can watch uh, this show. It's called... Get Ready Player One. The name of it is Ready Player One, which probably a familiar title with you guys, a certain book, a certain movie, but they named their episode Ready Player One. It's part of the Toys That Built America, a snack-sized edition. Now there are longer episodes of the Toys That Built America, I believe that are an hour in length with commercials, and I wish they would have done this as a full episode. I'm not sure why they wouldn't. Uh, you know, a famous, historically important company like Nintendo, but hey, at least they did it. And I'm Reasonably happy with the results, considering how short it is and how they had to cram so much into it. Um, but back in the spring, uh, Lucky 8 TV and the History Channel flew me out to New York City uh, back in the spring uh, for the interview. And I was grilled for three hours or so about the entire history of Nintendo. And it was a lot of fun talking about Nintendo. Uh, I felt like I had a decent amount of energy. I watched the documentary now and I look old and tired, <laughs> but I thought I did a decent job and I felt good at the time, but man, I'm just getting old and it shows on TV. But anyway, it was a blast. It was fun to do. And uh, yeah, it was just fun, waxing nostalgic about Nintendo, talking about some of the history of Nintendo and some of my memories with things like Donkey Kong and the Nintendo 64 and things like that. Now it is crammed together very short history of Nintendo, covering from the beginning as a playing card company all the way to the present with the Nintendo Switch. They cram all this into about 20 minutes, and most of you, a lot of you hardcore gamers that are big time Nintendo buffs probably heard most or all of this, but for casual gamers, casual fans, you'll learn something new, and it's just fun to watch. Blake uh, Harris, the author of Console Wars and a friend of mine who's contributed to uh, one of my omnibus books, the SNES Omnibus Volume 1. They interview him and a couple of other, two or three other, uh, you know, gamer types of note. And so yeah, you got the whole history of Nintendo in 20 minutes. And there are a couple of times when this rankled me a little bit, just how short it is and compressed, because so there's one point where we're talking about the Nintendo 64, and I start talking about Pokemon, and I'm talking about Pokemon Go, and that sort of just gets crammed into the whole Pokemon thing. Yeah, the documentary being so short means they did leave out quite a bit, of course. Uh, and they fudge the years a little bit. They get 80 to 81. That gets jumbled around a little bit. Um, they leave out creator names. I don't remember Gunpai Yokoi and some others. 
uh, being mentioned. They leave out the arcade game Radar Scope, which predated Donkey Kong, in which they used, uh, when they were making Donkey Kong, they used Radar Scope cabinets. They don't talk about that. They don't talk about Super Mario Brothers 3. They place a lot of emphasis on the failure of the Power Glove, but around the same time, Nintendo was doing gangbusters with Super Mario Brothers 3. They don't really cover that. How uh, They don't really mention Super Mario Brothers 3 that I recall. Uh, they don't talk about the GameCube, the DS, the 3DS. Uh, so yeah, this is a very short documentary. And so, you know, in 20 minutes, with this short of a time, they did a pretty good job. It's a pretty good little documentary, and it gives you a broad overview of Nintendo, so I credit the filmmakers for that. I just wish it could have been a full-sized episode, but hey, I'm not complaining. I got a trip to New York with the parents' fee, and I got to stay in a nice hotel. They treated me great. I have a couple of new friends out of the deal, and I had an awesome time in New York City. I always love going there and taking walking tours. Incredible. Uh, so hey, I'm not complaining. So check it out guys. Download the History Channel app if you don't have it already, which is free. And go to the Toys That Built America. Their tagline for the show is, from its humble beginnings in an 1880s card shop to single-handedly resurrecting the video game industry. Bit of an exaggeration. Learn about how an iconic name in gaming came to be before creating one of the world's most famous video games starring two Italian plumbers, this icon once tried making soup, vacuum cleaners, and hotels. Yes, the fa infamous love hotels. Get ready, player one. This story is a game changer. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this. So why don't you, if you haven't watched it already, go check it out and then come back here and comment on my channel here what you thought of this little mini documentary I would appreciate it. If you want a deeper dive into the history of Nintendo, check out Playing With Power, the Nintendo story on Crackle. Crackle is a free app as well, a free streaming service. So check out Ready Player One on the History Channel. That's part of their Toys That Built America series and check out Playing With Power, the Nintendo story. I would really appreciate it. All right, guys, again, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. It is super helpful. Like I said, I recently passed 3,400 subscribers. I'm on my way to 3,500 subscribers. For all of you that have shared, who have told your friends about my show and just retro gaming in general, if you're a fan and you have helped get the word out about my channel, I really appreciate it and my books as well. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for liking this video. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. We will talk to you soon. If you're a fan of my work, you might want to consider supporting me on Patreon. For just a low fee each month, you get a lot of extra content. Another way to support the channel and my writing career is to buy books direct from me, including the 100 Greatest Console Video Games, the Classic Home Video Game Series. It's like an encyclopedia set and this massive bad boy, the NES Omnibus Volume 1 A through L. I will put links in the description of this video where you can buy books direct from me and where you can support me on Patreon. Thank you guys so much, I really appreciate it.